How, how do you assess people's motivations? Like you were just saying there, that when you can understand someone's motivation, you can almost disarm them without exposing them, which is what you just gave that example of now. How, how do we do that so that we go to the root of it? I think often we get so caught up in what someone's, what we think someone's thinking or what we think someone's saying, but actually going to the heart of it and the root of it. You know, it's hard to explain. Mm. I get credit for these days for sort of holding the international community together. In the, I try to understand what the circumstance the other world leader is facing mm. Mm. and see if there's a way what, I, what needs to be done, there's a way through that he doesn't or she doesn't have to make a great sacrifice to do what she's doing, but help make the case why they're helping others. But there's ways to do that. And it doesn't require the person, if, there's a, if they have a fundamental difference with you on a subject, but if they're doing something because they don't have the political bandwidth to be able to do it at home, you can provide it. I will say to leaders sometimes, well, why don't you let me criticize you for this or thank you for that or more? And most of the time, it, now you don't do it off the top of your head. You've you got to know some of these people. They'll go, okay. Or why don't, you, why, why don't you criticize me? Why don't you criticize me for my not doing something? And then I'll respond and say, okay, and then you can do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. It's just basic human nature. But I think, I think trying to figure out what leeway mm -hmm. a person has. I don't expect everybody to, uh, that I'm dealing with to appear in the second editions of Profiles and Courage. Mm -hmm. Nor me. I mean, it's hard. Mm -hmm. But there's ways you can work through, not always, but you can work through things where you can allow the other person to save face and still get to where you want to go. Yes. And sometimes it works with you working with two people. Yes. To get that done. Yeah. But it's it's just trying to figure out what is really what impediments are in their way mm -hmm. to keep them from being able to do what you know you feel in their your gut, you know they know they should do. That's a great perspective. I'm so happy you shared that because so many of us are fixated on what we want out of something or where we want to get to or what our challenges are. 